Hey guys, it is Booligan with Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Insider Magazine, and today we're looking at drum mags. In particular, these big, beefy, non-battery powered drum mags from Angel Custom brought in through evic.com. Now, these are uh, made by Angel Custom, and they are generally made of polymer. High strength polymer. I have no concerns about the strength of these things. Unlike some other drum mags that are really cheap, thin plastic, these things are very, very solid. They basically look like the receiver on a G36. So pretty solid functioning there, or pretty solid build there. How most drum mags work is there is an electric motor inside that winds up basically like a giant high cap, but with a ton of capacity, just so many BBs, thousands of BBs. The problem is none of those systems work particularly well. There are ones that have a little microphone inside that it hears when the gun is firing and that's when it turns on the switch. There are some that have a mechanical little pressure switch, the classic army one comes to mind, has a mechanical little pressure switch inside. But when the spring pressure comes down, then it starts winding the motor up. Too complicated. The only ones in my opinion that I trust are the, the ones that have a push button on the back to wind that motor. And now this one, which uses no electronics at all. How this guy functions is as a giant high cap magazine. And if you've ever used a flash mag before, you know that instead of a winding wheel at the bottom, they've got this, a string, which, you know, is a little weird at first. And it's not really a string, it's actually a wire, but it's pretty high strength. Um, and how it works is instead of winding that wheel, you just give it like two or three quick tugs and you're basically fully wound up. So Angel Custom went together, went ahead and they put together a full high or a full drum magazine that has very high capacity. I want to say around 1,500 rounds um, in a relatively small form. It's about the same size as a uh, as a Magpul, you know, real steel drum, and with a couple of different options uh, for gun use. They've got this version for ARs. They've got a version for G36 models, and as you saw on that G and G AK, they've got a version for AKs. Um, if you've ever used flash mags before, you should know, or if you haven't used them, I suppose, uh, what you should know is that they work very well at high rate of fire guns. They're actually one of the very few high cap magazines that I've used that can keep up to like 25, 30 plus rounds a second. Um, and these are no different. Uh, they use the same clockwork spring mechanism and the same easy, easy charging to get that all set up and ready to shoot. So these guys come in priced around 65 bucks, which puts them about on par for the electric ones. But in my opinion, and in my experience, these things are a fair bit more reliable than those. Um, it looks good. It looks modern. It looks sexy. Um, it sticks down pretty far, but not crazy far. It's not like a beta C mag where it doesn't have a lot of height, um, but it's also not particularly wide. So enough talking about it. Let's go outside. Let's shoot with these things and let's see how they work. Well, let's see how this thing actually works. As I mentioned before, it's basically just a big giant capacity high cap magazine. So you fill it like a giant capacity high cap magazine. Flip open the little door, take your BBs. In this case, I'm using G and G BBs because one, they're good BBs. And two, this bottle, very easy to fill this thing up. There's already some BBs in here, so I need to fill it all the way up. But let's go ahead and let's get to business and see how this thing shoots in this G and G AK. Now, AK mags are always a little bit fickle depending on the gun that you are putting them in. And this is no exception. So this guy might have some slight feeding issues unless it's kind of pushed back a little bit. Probably not the best demo gun for this, but uh, this gun's really sexy and I like to shoot it. So uh, let's see how it goes. Got some eyes, it stops feeding. Got to kind of press it back. I could tweak this a little bit, um, but let's see. Continues to shoot if you have any feeding issues. Again, may just need to change the angle of engagement on the magazine itself. So, yeah, as you can see, just needs a slight bit. You can look here. See that? 
if this guy were a little bit longer, this thing would be feeding perfectly. So if you have something like this and you have a gun that it's having some feeding issues in, especially in an AK, you may just need to take a look at uh, how it's engaging and making sure that it is properly engaging the hop up to get all those BBs in. So for about 65 bucks, it gives you a very reliable, again, this might need some tweaks depending on the gun that you're shooting, but you're not gonna have any spring feeding issues or any motor feeding issues like with another drum bag. But like I said, for 65 bucks, if you're looking for something to add a little bit of extra oomph to your gun, um, certainly a good option to look into. One thing to note, you may wanna check your local field's rules before uh, purchasing this because some fields, some groups, some organizations will not allow drum mags on non-support type weapons. So you may need to keep this to things like uh, RPKs or other actual support weapons and uh, make sure to just follow your field's rules. Now, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to shooting this thing a little bit more.